Hello, what's up guys? Uh, we're on for another product review. Uh, by the way, um, it was my birthday a few weeks ago and I got a new camcorder. It, I got a Sony this time because the Canon, it had some image noise and I wasn't really satisfied with the camcorder that much. But the Sony, as you can see right here, which I'm going to be reviewing now, is much, much better than the Canon. And I do think Canon is not as quite as good as Sony when it comes to camcorders. As you can see with the Canon that I'm filming with, there's a bunch of image noise in the screen. And the Sony fixes that up real well. So let's get on with the product review. Alright, first of all, let's start out with the lens. As you can see, it has a wide lens. Wide lens means it can record, um, it can capture more what's on the left and on the right. And capture more what's like a wide angle. Like the Canon, it has the same switch right here. You can open and close the lens. And I do think that it should be automatic, but I don't really have a preference at all. Alright, so let's go on with the screen. Every camcorder has got to have a screen, so let's get right into that. Alright, so here is the screen for the Sony. Let's open up that lens real quick. And you can see what's being filmed in the screen. And it looks very sharp. It records in HD 1080p. And I'm very satisfied with how the image quality looks. For the, sh the shooting mode, let's get into that real quick. You can film, um, you can record films. And it does, it does take great pictures, I must admit. I've tried taking a picture with this. And it looks fabulous. Let's get back into camera and mic settings. Um, if you're one of those guys who likes... If doesn't care about the image quality or anything like that and just wants to film just leave this on automatic the white balance exposure focus and you can adjust that if you really care about that stuff low lux that's for really dark situations and if you don't want image noise I think that can reduce it a lot down to here you can get uh, the picture effects if you want a certain filter for your camera then uh, choose the filter effects you've got a self timer steady shot which can really stabilize your shots if they're really bouncy and shaky like this I doubt you could even see what was going on just there it just looked like a blur uh, you have face detection which I, I, I don't really find necessary but it does um, help with the focus on a person's face Smile shutter, a pretty nice feature. Built-in zoom mic, um, it, you get wind noise reduction. I hate wind noise. Wind noise is ap wind noise is absolutely um, distracting, and it's really hard to focus with it. I think that covers all of our settings with the camera and mic. Uh, let's go to image quality and size. Um, it does film in 60p and 60i. Um, I, I prefer 60p. Um, if in case you're wondering, 60i stands for 60 interlaced. 60p stands for 60 progressive. Um, in case you're wondering what these mean, 60i was used. 60i was used for older computers that did not have enough power for 60p. And I personally think 60p looks better. Uh, I haven't seen a comparison, but uh, I just know that. <laughs> Playback function and edit, I don't want to go into that because, I mean, there's not a lot in that in those sections. But in the media settings and all of these settings right here, uh, you've got, uh, you, you can format your SD card, I think that's what it means. Uh, you've got all this, uh, the volume. You can uh, just uh, the HDMI resolution. I don't really connect it to, to the TV that much, but if you want to, you can. I turn off the beep in case you find it annoying. The monitor brightness adjusts the, um, 
the battery, you've got the language, the power save options, you can initialize the SD card, and the date, time, settings, and area settings, and all of that cool stuff. Cool. So, let's, let's end this with the screen. Let's move on to the side of the camcorder here. We have the HDMI. Um, we can open that slot real quick. Uh, this SD card inside here is not the same as the Canon. The, the Canon. I think it's called um, Micro. I'm pretty sure that's the type of SD card. So you need to buy a certain type of SD card for this uh, camcorder. A smaller one. Of course you've got the HDMI out right here. And um, once you're done when, with these settings, you can close that and close the screen. So let's move on with the zoom options. Okay, so here are the zoom options. You can slide this back and forth to adjust the zoom. And here's, here's a photo button which I really wish it had on the Canon. So I'm glad it has that stuff right here. Um, let me just close the shutter. On the side here we have a built-in um, a cable that's attached to the camcorder. You can use this to charge your camcorder. It comes with another cable which connects to a wall charger. Or you can just plug this into your computer to import your files. What is pretty complicated with this is you need to download a program that, that was made by Sony. Um, I will leave that in the link in the description below if you're if you are trying to import your files and cannot do so So please look at the, the description It has a multi option. I don't know what that's for but I assume some other type of cord which you can um, plug into your camcorder I Think that's about it um, one one suggestion for Sony there is no option to plug in headphones. I really wish they had that option, but I'm not like those really advanced guys who needs to listen to the audio. But, um, you know, I like this camcorder a lot, and I'm really satisfied with it. I'm happy. I had a great birthday, and, um... And right here, I'm showing you the name of, of the Sony camcorder, so check that out. You might want to get it. It's a, it's a pretty good camcorder. I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for using your time to watch this product review. Thanks a lot, guys. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my last two videos. They are quite interesting. They are about erasable pens. And if you haven't already, please look at my channel, all of my YouTube videos, and pick out a pretty good channel name. I do think my hitty is quite uninteresting myself. And I think that wraps up my YouTube video today. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.